Hi, friends. I am videoing in a different position today, so I'm just trying to get it adjusted. How's that lighting? I kind of set the lighting up a little different. Yeah. Hi, it's Bernadine from How the Hook Turns. How y'all doing? This is Saturday. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is still a sick house, but we're improving. So y'all keep hearing me talk about my sister-in-law, my sister-in-law this, my sister-in-law. There's my sister-in-law. She's kind of, this is kind of our hangout room. <laughs> She's in here in my craft uh, craft room, uh, I don't know, I guess craft room, but she's kind of in the recliner, and we just kind of hang out in here a lot, so anyway, she's going to be in the background, and she's busy with her own stuff, so anyway, so we'll talk, so I thought we'd come on here, I'm giving you an update on our health, I'm feeling a little bit better, praise the Lord, I think my sister-in-law, might be feeling a little bit better. She still has a fever. I still have a fever. Not Nothing real high. Just low grade temp. Uh, but we're getting through it. My husband's feeling better. He hadn't had a fever. He's eating. We're eating. We kind of, uh, we came in here a while ago and we have a vaporizer over there on the floor. Humidifier. Hold on, water. That we have some Vix medicine in that diffuses it all through the room. Try to open up our bronchioles and help us breathe a little bit better. And we came in here a little bit ago, and we both were able to smell it. Now, I didn't. I just filled it up, but I didn't put more than usual in it. But I think we might be be getting our smell back. I hope. So we are doing a little bit better. It's Saturday afternoon here in this West Texas town. It's a beautiful day outside. It's sunny. I think it was supposed to get really hot today, but the last I looked, it, was, it wasn't too bad. 94, I think. But just know around this place, it can get pretty hot and dusty pretty quick. So, I am still working on this uh, granny stitch pullover sweater. And I just uploaded a video. I had to upload that video twice of my last video. I was working on it and working on it yesterday. And I thought I had it right. And it uploaded, but it took forever. But I didn't think anything of it. I just thought the internet was running slow for us or something and when I got it uploaded last night about 10 30 the sound was terrible so I but I was too tired to delete it or mess with it so I just went to bed and this morning I deleted it off of YouTube and luckily I still had the video on my camera here and so I uploaded it again and, it, and it's working so my last video I talked about this sweater and I put some links in the description if you want to go look at the tutorial or if you want to want the written pattern there's a way there's a place you can get it if, if you're interested so I have that up and I want to go to, wanted to go ahead and do another one with a quick update about how we're doing here and I thought maybe we could uh, crochet and chat and I did want you to meet my sister-in-law. She has a name. Her name is Patricia. <laughs> anyway, she's we're kind of we're kind of recovering together. Husband's in yonder watching TV. He's watching the comedy clubs right now. I think it's on YouTube. I don't know where he's watching it at. But anyway, let me. Uh, Turn this around down here and uh, hold up. I'm going to put y'all down, I think. Now then, can you see that? Let me check and see if you can see it. I think you can. Okay, there we go. I thought I'd work a little bit on this sweater. 
I thought I had the other panel finished. And then when I went to look at it again, I realized I need 24 rounds instead of 22 rounds. So I've got to go back and do two more rounds on that other panel of granny stitch. Around the edges, and I don't know why I'm having such trouble with that stitch. There we go. Okay, well, how's everybody doing out there? We're doing okay, like I said. Next week. Now, today is Saturday. We usually go to church on Sunday, but we won't be doing that this weekend. So, Monday, the 25th, my husband has a follow-up appointment with his doctor because of his hospitalization. So, we'll be going to that, and that's here in town. And then he has an appointment with his balance therapy in Lubbock come Tuesday. And he has been fever-free. I think today is the fourth day he's been fever-free. So, I believe wearing a mask, he would be safe to go. Because today is Monday. Tuesday will be day 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Since he, since he showed symptoms of COVID. So, I think he's good to go. I'm still having fever. I'll, I'll, I will be going, but I'll always be staying out in the car. I'm not going in. I'm not going in the place of business. I'll just stay out there and work on some crochet or something. And it's like, I'm going to say 50 minutes there or 55 minutes there. Could be an hour depending on traffic and the same length back home and it's clear across Lubbock. So we'll be gone for a few hours. And then I have a follow-up with my primary care, no, with my a knee doctor on Friday. So I'll be going to that. If I'm not having a fever, of course, this week. So that's our plan. Patricia and I, I fixed eggs and bacon for them for breakfast. I had some chicken noodle soup for breakfast. And some I had made and stuck in the refrigerator. My husband didn't want any lunch. You know, I told you guys he's on that old Zimbic for his uh, hemoglobin A1C and blood sugar. And sometimes he just has no appetite and he can't eat. So for lunch, Patricia and I fixed us a hamburger. Just a little homemade hamburger a piece. And I'm probably just heating something up for dinner tonight, but we're making it. We're getting along here. So, Halloween is coming up, and we really don't celebrate Halloween here. I don't decorate. It's not that I'm, I, I'm not, I mean, it's not like I'm really against it. It's just, I don't know. I don't really like the evil part that Halloween represents. I know some people think it's just for fun, but... And it can be, but we really don't celebrate it here. We have no little kids that live here or around here. Last year, well, ever since we've been here, we moved here uh, July of 2019. There's never been, well, we kind of live in, the, in a rural area. There's never been any little kids coming up here on Halloween for candy. We, however, did buy some the first few years that we lived here. We didn't know. We didn't know what to expect. Just a minute, I have to get a drink. Yummy water. So, my sister-in-law, who you just saw back there, she's new here. She just moved here a year ago, July herself. She lives in town. She doesn't live out in the country. And last year, she wasn't sure because she lives in a neighborhood in town. She thought she'd have a lot of little trick-or-treaters. So she 
bought some candy and was all ready and I don't even know if she had one. Did you have any? Trisha? Uh -huh. Do you have any trick-or-treaters last year? Nope. Zero. Nope. She had zero, so I don't think she'll be buying any candy this year. I think no. she learned a lesson. Yeah. Our church has something called trunk or treat where the members gather on I guess it depends on when Halloween falls on on the weekend or during the week and they'll set up I'm sure y'all know about that they'll sit up in the church parking lot and the members open their trunks up and they have candies and treats and that's where the little kids come and instead of going to houses being unsafe they just come up to the churches and get their little treats like that i'm sure all the towns and neighborhoods have that that's kind of a got to be a thing i think so anyway fall's coming are y'all ready for the winter i hope i hope the almanac is wrong and it's not going to be a real hard winter i don't know i guess we'll all find out together huh there always seems to be a snow out here in West Texas. Or has been ever since we moved here a few years ago. Nothing really bad. Drink. So, I guess we'll get some winter. I hope to have me some nice warm sweaters to wear. Looks like I'm gonna have. I've got, uh, if this turns out well, and I have no reason to believe that it won't, if this sweater turns out well, I have two more batches of yarn over there that I'm tickled to death with and, and been holding on to it, trying to figure out what to do with it. I may make a granny square pullover like this one out of one of those. One of them is roses and pinks and cre and white or cream, different shades. And the other one is a green-based color. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to be using. But, you know, I'm getting ahead of myself. i got to first see how this turns out. If this turns out good, then we'll probably be doing that. I like making wearables. That blanket I made a, month, a few weeks ago, I almost said a month, it's not been a month. A few weeks ago just about wore me out. My arms, that thing was heavy. I, I don't, I'm leaning toward something besides blankets. I made some hats when I first started crocheting here late last winter. I need to get those out and show you. I need to showcase some hats on here. I need to make me some scarves. That's what I need to do. I sure need a scarf out here. It gets so cold when that wind blows. So I'm going to make sure I have at least a couple. I have scarves, but I mean, I want some new ones. Some crocheted ones. I have some boughten ones, but I've, I've knitted scarves, yeah, but I've never crocheted one. So, what are you guys up to this weekend? Anybody got big, out with big plans this weekend? Are y'all traveling or visiting your family or? I'm afraid pretty soon it's going to be too cold out there to do a whole lot on the weekends. We still got a little bit, I think, of the summer left here before it really gets cold. It doesn't really get cold here till in October. But they, the days cool off and the nights cool off, but we're still like in the 70s and 80s. We don't, we don't get very cool till near the end of December. 
Well, folks, what are y'all working on? Pop me a comment on here. Let me know where you're, where you live, what you're doing, how you're doing. Stay well. Don't get this stuff. It's no fun. If you do get it, I've learned the, one of the most important things is to stay hydrated. When you're not feeling good, it's hard to eat and drink like you should. Yep. Keep your nutrition up. Keep your fluids up. Don't skip your medicines. Okay, folks. Well, this isn't a very long video. I just wanted to pop in here and tell you that it's Saturday and we're still coming along. We're still trying to be all right. We are feeling a little bit better, so I think we're on the mend. I'm still using this tulip here, as you can see, for this sweater. It's just... A really good hook. I haven't been wearing my glove this afternoon. And I'm probably going to be paying for that here shortly. I guess I need to stick it back on. I just forget sometimes and just pick this up. Okay, gang. Well, it's a wrap from here. Patricia, you want to say goodbye back there, wherever you are? You guys have a good day. All right. Stay well. Yeah, stay well. We love y'all. See you next time. Bye now. It's a wrap.